Hey everybody, I have a question for you today. My question is, what causes stress? And unfortunately, the answer is we do. Uh, we bring on our own stress, we do. We try to absolutely do everything. We try to say yes to everything. We try to be everyone's everything. And it starts to stress us out. Um, so my question to you is, what action are you willing to take to reduce some of the stress in your life? You know, we take on more and more and more and we bring about more and more stress. I am like the queen of it. I am queen stress out. So I say yes to everything and it goes back to that people pleasing thing, but I say yes to everything and then I stress out. And when I sometimes stress out, and this is a big one for me to admit to you, but sometimes I get myself so stressed out and worked out that I actually like almost hyperventilate. Like I just, I can't handle it. And it's funny because when I'm done with my freak out session, I'm good, I'm okay. <laughs> I've got it out of my system and I go right back to the same behaviors and I take everything on again. So, you know, as with everything else, I'm really gonna try to eliminate some of the things in my life that stress me out. And, you know, taking on too much at one time is part of the stuff that stresses me out. And I, I got myself a life calendar. And it, it's the coolest little thing. And I, and I posted it on, on Facebook to show everybody this life calendar. And it basically says, don't forget to schedule in life. Don't forget to schedule in the fun stuff. You know, we're all so busy. America is, I mean, busy, busy, busy. A, a normal week for me is on Monday, I leave my house at 7 a.m. I go to work and I get home anywhere from 6.30 to 8.30, depends on the day. And that's if I just have to work. If my son has a ball game, it could be 9, 9 9.30 at night. And you know, that's just my Monday and my Tuesday and Thursday are very similar. Wednesdays, it's just, we go, 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 go. If it's not um, work, it's practices for the kids, it's dinner, it's homework. You know, it's just, there's never any time to decompress and then stress sets in. So I'm not telling you to stop your job because you can't, or at least I can't. Uh, I'm not telling you not to take the kids to practice, but carve out some time for you. Carve out a little bit of time that helps you decompress just a little bit. That's workout for me. And I do that in the morning so that I don't take anything away from anyone else. But my stress reliever is a workout or Maybe I'll go get my nails done or I'll go get my toes done. Just something that is for just me. And because I, I think, you know, the stress that we bring on is self-induced. There is no question, no question at all that it is self-induced. But the relief from it has to be self-induced too. If you're never going to do anything to take a minute to take a deep breath and do something for yourself, then you're just gonna to continue to be stressed out all the time. So I challenge you to, if there's nothing you can take out of your life to reduce stress, then sometimes there's not. There might not be anything that you can take out. But if there is, take it out. If it's just something that you're adding to uh, your life just so that you please someone else, take it out. If there's nothing that you can do, then do something for yourself. I, I don't care what it is. 30 minutes a day and don't tell me you can't find 30 minutes a day because if I can find 30 minutes a day, you can find 30 minutes a day. So carve out 30 minutes a day to do something for yourself. I don't care if you sit in the bathtub for 30 minutes, do something for yourself. Reduce your stress level. So don't forget if reducing your stress level is important to you, you will find a way. And if not, we will always, always manage to find an excuse. And I hope you have an awesome day.